Howdy, y'all. Hi, guys. It's Ryan. And Angela. Happy New Year. We don't have horns. Toot, 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 toot. <laughs> From RNA Music. That's right. Favorite mom and pop guitar shop and music lesson studio deep in the heart of Texas. And we're here to answer questions for people all over the world. Let's go. That's right. Episode 400 of Ask Arnie. What do you think about that? That's crazy. And it's New Year's Eve. The last day of 2023. I know. Tomorrow's 24. 24. That's going to be... For 400. I'm not ready for 20... I guess I'm ready for 24. Are you ready for 2024? Yeah. I'm fine. No matter what happens. It's coming anyways. That's right. Whether we're ready or not. <laughs> Episode 400. So we've done yes. this. Actually, one of my students, uh, former students yesterday, Preston, mm -hmm. texted me. He's like, I had no idea RNA Music went back this far. And he had like a clip of like episode number two or something like that. Oh, wow. Robert Baker says, uh, on your EP, will you be using multiple amps? And if so, what ones are you thinking of using? I don't know, Robert. I'm really not certain what amps that I might use because all I have to play with are some oranges and some jet cities. And that beast. And this. I was like, oh yeah, man. We're on uh, like episode 400 now. So it's been yeah. a couple of years. A couple of years. So if you want to, yeah. <laughs> if you want to like binge something, you could, do you could it. binge Ask RNA <laughs> 400 episodes. There's a playlist. So you could go click on it and just. I mean, there's only 52 weeks in a year. So yeah. It's a couple of years of uh, yeah. Ask RNA, so. Mm -hmm. All right, if you're new here, we have a little music lesson studio, guitar shop, small town in East Texas. We're married and we teach music lessons all week long and we sell guitar strings. Yeah. And picks and cables. We and, do that sometimes. And guitars as well. <laughs> sometimes banjo strings. Yes. Sometimes capos from Kaiser mm -hmm. Capos. And ukuleles. <laughs> anyway, so we have this little channel and I hope you guys enjoy it. Today we're answering questions. We've been doing this for several years. Just people asking questions and we just answer. Mm -hmm. Sometimes music, sometimes about Texas, sometimes about beards. Or marriage. Or marriage advice. Or giant children. Or giant children, Texas side. So that's what we're gonna do. If you're one of our longtime viewers, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for sticking with us mm -hmm. through 2024. If you want some swaggy swag, either a shirt like Miss Angela's or the old school Phoenix logo, we got those down in a link in the description of this video. You can go click on that, get you some uh, swaggity swag. That's right. Cuppy cups, mm -hmm. leggings, <laughs> socks. <laughs> Anyways, all right, let's get to the video because we got stuff to do. Mm -hmm. We got to celebrate. All right. Yeah. First question, just fun guitar 1500. Hey guys, nice episode. New question. What is the least popular type of food in Texas that is very common elsewhere? Ooh. <laughs> That's Ooh. a really good question. Interesting. Where is elsewhere? Right. Because I think that's Other the question. Other than Texas? <laughs> Other than Texas. Yeah. Least popular food in Texas that's common everywhere else. Well, hmm. I don't know of a specific type of food. I'm sitting here thinking through everything that I like because I eat more variety than Ryan does. Seafood, maybe? Mm -mm. I don't know. We have a huge Gulf area, so I don't yeah. know if that's it. Because we have people. I mean, I wouldn't call it seafood, but well, crawdads. You know, yeah, we have people yeah, yeah. who love Cajun crawdads food and Cajun kind of food. Stuff. Swamp so, food. I, yeah, I don't. I don't know because Texas is such a huge melting pot of people. Yes. That so many different cultures are represented and appreciated. So. Yeah. I, I would say maybe Indian food. You can't really find Indian That's food. That's a good answer, yeah. Um, barely any, like in most small towns, you're going to have Mexican food. You're going to have a Chinese food oh, restaurant. Yeah. You're How going, many Mexican food places does Canton have? I think seven. Right. And like we're, seven. We're a town of like 3,500 people. And we have two, 4, two or three um, Chinese food restaurants. Yep. And so, you know, we even have a sushi you know, we, restaurant. Right. So we have even in our town of three thousand, those type those type of foods um, are prevalent. So I would say, but I'd have to go to like Houston, Austin, Dallas, or Dallas, bigger um, cities, and you'd have to find 
Indian food. Um, so I would say... How popular is Indian food though in other places? It seems like from what I've watched, because I've been wanting butter chicken like for over a year now and I can't find a good place that sells it because our Indian population isn't vast right. in, in, in most areas. So, um, but it seems like everybody eats it. Yeah. To that's... me, like everybody's like, oh yeah, I just ordered from this curry and stuff from this, you know, they had yeah, it delivered yeah. at my house. I'm like, lucky. <laughs> tamales? <laughs> yeah, tamales are huge. Okay. But that's you know, tamale making parties. At... <laughs> but that's super popular in Texas. I'm trying to think of like what's not popular in Texas because we like to eat. Yeah. Texans like to eat. But that's a really good answer. Yeah. I would say, I wouldn't say it's least popular. It's just least prevalent. It's, a, it's the lack of their that, four. That would... I think it would be very popular if we would have more places. I think like that, that indicates popularity though. It's like yeah. it's supply and demand in the marketplace. Yeah. If everybody wanted it, there would be a lot of. Right. Like Mexican food places. Yes. Tex-Mex. I think Mex. it's very common in a lot of places. Tex-Mex. Yes. Not Mexican food. Tex-Mex. 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 That's a different thing. There you go. That is a great question, Just Fun Guitar. Mm -hmm. Hey, you guys, tell us what do you think. What is, uh, or tell us where you live mm -hmm. and tell us, is there an Indian food restaurant in your town? That would be a really yeah, good. like a mom and pop type place. I don't know if there's a franchise. Yeah. That'd be a really place, good but... comment down below. Give us your location. I mean, not your actual address, but you know, tell us what city maybe you're in. Yes, what region you're in and if there's... And if there's an Indian food restaurant there. That would be really interesting to know. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Just Fun Guitar. Next question, Sinner's Dwarf, also from England. It's Just Fun Guitar from England. Sinner's Dwarf, Merry Christmas. Hope y'all had a good one. What guitar did you play this Christmas? I went with my CMG Ashley Custom. Hashtag Ooh. Merry Christmas. Yeah, he has a, got a sweet purple people CMG eater. Custom, purple Ooh. people eater. Uh, from us. Uh, what guitar did you play on Christmas? I played nothing on Christmas. I'm sitting here thinking, what did I do on Christmas? Now, we had a very eventful Christmas. <laughs> we did. Uh, uh, we had a great Christmas morning, and then it, it ended started with, nice. Um, family emergency, but it was, you know, we didn't really get to do much. I still have a Lego set. I have a puzzle to put together. I have all these things that I want I to do. I should put pictures of. Of my stuff, so... Um, I didn't play a guitar. What did you play a guitar? You're going to be playing guitar on New Year's Eve. I will be playing guitar New Year's Eve morning. Yeah, but you didn't do a Christmas Eve thing like you normally do. So right, you right. didn't get to really play uh, Christmas. I did not. I did not play guitar on Christmas Day. Mm -mm. As Angela said, we had a nice morning with our boys. We got up, cooked breakfast, and mm -hmm. um, you know we opened our presents and then relaxed and then went to your parents' house down mm -hmm. the street. And then mm -hmm. so we were there. We were at uh, Angela's folks' house for yeah. That lived nine houses down from us, so it's kind of <laughs> it's very convenient, right? Um, and then had some medical stuff with my dad. Had to go take care of him, so I spent yeah about half of Christmas Day in the ER with my dad. He's fine. Yeah, he is. He's all good. He's fine now. I mean, as, as fine as he normally is. <laughs> right. But that was a, uh, you know, they released him several hours later. But it was like. Mm -hmm. That was that was Christmas evening. So there was, and by the time we got home from the ER and stuff, and it was just like, ah, mm -hmm. I don't want to play guitar. So I actually didn't right. even play guitar on Christmas. No, Although, I if had you would have, my Flying V was what I was going to play. I was going to play there the new go. Silverburst Flying V. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can't see it, Black like Betty, because I'm in the Name way. My land. <laughs> I have to get closer. There it is. I was going to play that, <laughs> but um, it's our guest of the show. I, I did it. Yeah. So, uh, well, what did you guys, did any of you guys and girls play guitar on Christmas Day? If so, what What'd guitar you did you play? Tell us down there, I would love to know. Mm -hmm. Do you have any Christmas Eve gigs? Who's gigging this Christmas Eve? Ooh. I'm playing at church, but that's all I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Probably. All right, thank you for the question, Sinister Dwarf. Curve Recruiter! Also, I think in Europe. I forget where. You have to remind me, Denmark? Somewhere, Curl. <laughs> It's, it's European day, right? Uh, he says, I wish I could have Ryan's theory knowledge because I have all the technical playing ability, at least 80% of what anyone in heavy metal genre plays today. Yes, Yngwie included, but not Roy Marchbank. He's really beyond mere mortals. But I feel like I'm handicapped by my theory and knowledge of harmony and structures, etc. Ryan knows all that stuff and so many other players too. I honestly think what 
It's really the key to having more full experience than music in general. All right, question. My question is, what would be Ryan's suggestion to start learning all that stuff and how to keep at it? It seems like a daunting task for a simpleton like me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so basically the question is about learning theory, mm -hmm. uh, musical concise. theory. Concise, sorry. I'll try to keep it concise because last week we talked about that. Yes. We talked about online <laughs> lessons and I, I mentioned how... You'll have to make a video. Yeah, I should. Well, Pat's made a buttload of videos. So well, he has a whole series. But they're, they're your followers, so... Right, okay. Well, so what I was saying last week was like, well, I have two music degrees from college and so like every time I buy a course or a guitar thing, I'm like, okay, I, I, I know the information they're sharing. Mm -hmm. I just have to sit down and do the physical work. That's where my thing right. is like, well, right. it's the knowledge is is not that hard to acquire. I don't think. I think knowledge is the easy part. Mm -hmm. I think the what the what you've already done, which is sit down and just do the work. If you have a very predominantly high playing level in your genre, you've already done the hard part. I think. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, but as far as uh, learning the stuff, I there's a thing about music theory. People think it's like, oh, it's this mystical crazy thing like it's mm -hmm. it's really it's witchcraft. yeah it's, it's really not that complicated although i can see how it kind of would be at first because it, it really kind of combines you know elements of like math there's mm -hmm. some math in it and there's also sort of language type of things in it mm -hmm. and the way that it's it's kind of put together but right it's still you know got an element of a little bit of science and math and things to it so understanding why things i mean theory is just why do things sound the way they sound? Mm -hmm. It's basically that. It's not necessarily rules that can never be broken. It's just explanations of why does this work and mm -hmm. why does this sound this way? So right. um, for me, it took me a minute to grab it, to get a handle on it. And like I even took like my first year of music theory in college. I took it, to, I took it twice. Mm -hmm. Not because I failed it. I didn't fail. I just didn't make as high as a grade as I thought. And I didn't feel like I had a really good handle on the information. Mm -hmm. um, so I took the class again. And then I you know, I made an A and then my teacher was like, hey, I need you to tutor all these first year students now. Cause I'm like, oh, sure. And mm -hmm. that really helped me a lot too. But it is, you do have to look at it kind of differently. But as an adult, like if you've learned to speak your language or some of you have learned to speak two languages, mm -hmm. that's impressive, right? right? And if you can do basic math, you can kind of figure out music theory. Mm -hmm. Now, great places to start. I, I still have my college music theory textbooks. Mm -hmm. I'm taking my I still have them. Yeah, it's kind of like... <laughs> it's, my tunnel vision uh, through the oh, uh, zeros are, are starting to bother my head. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. I was kind of like, how long, how long are we going to keep these on? Okay, that's good. That's, like, good. that's good. That's <laughs> good. I was yeah. done. <laughs> yeah, that was enough. Happy New Year. Happy yeah. New Year. All right. Um, and the college textbooks are pretty easy to understand. They're not, mm -hmm. they're not the hardest thing I've ever learned. Mm-hmm. But there's plenty of courses. There's there's a pl plenty of free videos on YouTube. Our friend Pat David Gray, Pat Gray from Australia, he started his channel years and years ago. Hi, Pat. It's like a long time ago. A lot of his early videos were just going through because he was studying music in college and he was basically mm -hmm. putting everything he learned in college up on YouTube, years. like a whiteboard. Very before Rick Beato, there was Pat Gray. Mm -hmm. basically doing that kind of stuff mm -hmm. so pat you know and it's free and like and he just breaks down everything he learned in his theory courses step by step mm -hmm. which is brilliant uh, that's on there um i got rick beato's book rick beato's book he's always selling to fund his channel and it's great it's basically a music theory textbook mm -hmm. i bought it because like i want to get this and maybe there's something i don't know and i was like nah, i learned all this mm -hmm. <laughs> i learned all this and You're like hmm, hmm, uh, it's, a, it's a good reminder thank you application but yeah an application a, app, <laughs> application applying it to what you're doing i think that's the real the real um challenge for most people is like you have the knowledge but then applying it in an actual situation yeah um which you sure. really only can do just by doing it. You, gotta uh, you can do study it. how to do push-ups and watch videos and how it's the perfect form for doing push-ups, but then you gotta get down there and do it. Mm -hmm. And have somebody go, oh, no, your elbows are too far out. Oh, crap. You have to apply the knowledge. Yeah. But there's tons of YouTube videos. You could buy You could buy a book. Um, mm -hmm. If you are if you are, are a reader, I would suggest maybe getting a book 
and just giving yourself a goal of like, hey, I'm going to read a couple of pages mm -hmm. a day, mm -hmm. right? Oh, what I liked about my college stuff, I think why I held on to it, because I held on to them because I'm like, I'm going to come back and just as a refresher, go through them. A lot right. of times the college books will have like the textbook and they'll have a workbook. Mm. So for each chapter mm -hmm. of your book, you can come over and you can actually write things out. And I, I think I found, I don't know where I found it, but I have my actual first year theory book. It's like a like PDF. With all the other no, I still have my books, yeah. but it's online Oh, for nice. free. Oh, nice. Like I was like, oh dude, that's like my theory book. I'm like, oh, it's free online. It's, it's at some school. You could click on a look at it. I'm like, nice. it's pretty rad. I don't know where the link is, but you know, it just depends on how you learn. Are you more a visual learner or you like to read? Right. So visual, there's tons of courses. Pick, pick, pick somebody. If mm -hmm. they have a playlist, like Pat has a playlist on mm -hmm. his channel. I'll, I'll link to the Pat's channel in the description of this video. So he has a, like step by step, 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 like year one theory mm -hmm. or first semester theory, second semester. Right. Ch -ch 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 -ch. In a playlist, you can click and go through it like a, like an online class. Okay. That'd be a good way to start learning it, I think. And mm -hmm. if you just make it a goal, hey, I'm going to do this. And you know, whether it is, whether it's one video a day or one video a week, whichever, just, I would start there. Does that help? Does that make sense? Yeah. Is that a good, that is that a good, a good answer? That's a good answer and explanation. I should probably make theory videos. You should. That's all I, I was really thinking should. about during the explanation. Well, I love, I love sharing that stuff. Cause I have students that come in and they're like, mm -hmm. I'll explain the practical, you should do it. Practical music. It's cause, because you love it, it will, it'll be enjoyable for you to explain it and show people how, yeah. why it makes sense to you and how it clicked yes. in it, your it, head. It cause I could already play guitar mm -hmm. before I took music theory. Right. And like, of course, you know, rock stuff and metal stuff and, and pop stuff. Mm -hmm. So I could play guitar, but after I studied music theory, then I was like, oh. Uh, then I kind of like, hard. like I knew like this sounded good and this worked this and right. that you could go to this chord next and this kind of like, I knew why it sounded good and it worked. I didn't know why it worked. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it kind of just, it helped me mm -hmm. in a lot of ways. So awesome. I should do that. Goals for 24. Yes. Music theory. There's lots of videos. Goals. There's lots of goals. goals for 24. Now it's time for comment of the day. Song. Yeah. Comment of the day. Yes. Here we go. Mm -hmm. There we go. See, I didn't hit you with your guitar. Yeah. Comment of the day. This is where we write a song on the spot using music theory. Yes. You guys write the lyrics. We uh, write a song on the spot. I have not prepared any music. She has not even seen the comment. Nope, I was literally looking at it <laughs> so, just now. And usually the comment does not inspire music, but uh, today maybe it will. So I have to do some computations in my head really quickly to like figure mm -hmm. out something that would work okay. for this and not screw it up the first time. Okay. Or the second time. Okay. Uh, okay, let's see. All right, here we go. Okay. Gotta change it. I gotta change it or well, don't change it? Or yeah, just keep it there or well, I gotta I didn't know if you were gonna. I am gonna change. Okay. Uh, we got three chords. We're okay. Playing. Gotcha. I'm trying to think of. A, it's hard to just jump in with. Well, because I'm gonna.
I don't know. It, that's hard to do, actually. It's like, let's, mm -hmm. uh... Yeah. It's a, a bluesy thing. Mm -hmm. All right, comment of the day. Your beard is clickbait. Mm -hmm. I legit thought Billy Gibbons from the thumbnail. Uh, interestingly enough, about last week's Ask Arnie video, episode 399, got a lot of views. Yeah, it did. But I think what why it got like 1,300 views. it was views, Billy Gibbons. Yeah. It was, they thought it was Billy Gibbons. Legit. No, the, the mm -hmm. video before that, that I put up about, drove across Texas to get a guitar. She said, buy the guitar. Mm-hmm. Uh. Mm-hmm. That's it. And that that video, I, I just, I don't, I don't think that, that wasn't really clickbait, because I was like, I drove across Texas to get a guitar, which is a fact. Yeah. I did drive four hours in Texas to get a guitar. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think, there was just something happened with that video with the thumbnail because you're looking off to the side and I'm like, hmm. I was like, she said get the guitar. <laughs> I think that's always a good thing, but get the title. Him. Anyways, it got like 12,000 views or something dumb. Something crazy. I was like, what happened? I, you know, yeah. normally, and we do have some videos, like I've got a few hundred thousand mm -hmm. view yeah, videos and 80,000 views. Mm -hmm. You know, in however many years we've been doing this, a long time. 12 years. Yeah. I mean, 14, 14, 14 years of shop, doing... but not videos necessarily. Right, right, right. 14, almost 14 years of YouTube. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've got some videos that got like 100,000 views, 80,000 views, 90,000 views, 70,000 mm -hmm. views, 60. I mean, every now and then I'll make a video that pops off, I guess. So. Right. But for whatever reason, that one popped off. Right. And people liked it, I guess. There you go. And then the Ask RNA that came out after it, I guess everybody who kind of enjoyed that one were like, oh, what's this? I was mm -hmm. like, this is what we actually do most of the time. <laughs> right. Is that video. So, so if um, you're back from that. Yeah. So hello. Gibson Mason <laughs> zero, 00, you might uh, yeah. have found from there. Um, Billy Gibbons. Mm -hmm. So what were we at Walmart? Was it yesterday? No. The day before yesterday. Yeah, it was like Christmas Eve Eve. Christmas Adam. Yeah, it was It was a while ago. I felt like it was just a couple days ago. we're already in the next weekend. Ago. No, it was last, like last week or something. I thought it was like like two days ago because we were in there uh, and I was thinking about something else. I don't, I don't know. Things are blurring. We were at it's Walmart lines. in the morning mm -hmm. getting some stuff. I was getting cat food for dad. So it was just like two days ago. Okay. And then this guy walked up. He's like, are y'all still on tour? I'm like, That's sometimes. what he said. I was trying to figure out what he said. I was like, why did you Are you off a tour? I'm like, right now, yes. And he was kind of like, and I was like, I was in my head doing like money math. Yeah. I don't know if you guys ever get stressed about money math. I'm... I'm mathing. I'm like, okay, which account do I want to pay for this out of the thing? Right. And you know, and he was like, hey, making Billy Gibbons. He pulled jokes. you out of your mailbox. He did pull me out of my mailbox. I was like, but I knew where he was going. He's like, oh, you look at Billy Gibbons. Like, you're I'm like, I actually do get that a lot. Mm -hmm. Like, shockingly, or not shockingly, I guess, but it seems like lately, mm -hmm. like every time I go in the gas station, like one of the girls like, oh, Billy Gibbons. I'm like, oh yeah, hey, it's great, you know, like. It's pretty often. Mm -hmm. It'd be funny if people truly think that he is Billy Gibbons. I did say that. I was like, well, he, did, he is. I hope I don't look 30 years older than I, I know, am. I know, but people don't pay attention don't. to that it's kind the, of stuff. It's just their the brain just goes where. The, the yeah. hat, the beanie. I was wearing a beanie because I typically And then that do. person turns into, you know, Billy Gibbons came in here to buy gas the other day. I got to I see saw him. Billy Gibbons at the camp. He was Walmart. really nice. He was really nice. He was very nice. Mm -hmm. I didn't know he was married. His wife's smoking hot. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's great. So I, I do think that's funny. I was telling Angela when, I got, when we got in the car, I was like, I guess it's a sign I am supposed to do this hmm. ZZ Top tribute yeah, band I thing. Yeah, I think so. Right, so you regulars who've been watching us for a while, y'all know this ZZ Top tribute thing band. It's been in the works mm -hmm. <laughs> for like half of 23. Yeah. We're supposed to have our actual first practice because we finally got nailed down a drummer. Right. Like in yeah, January. That was the thing. So in the next in the next week or two, we're supposed to actually have our first little rehearsal mm -hmm. with the, uh, you know, the full ZZ tribute band. But I always think that's kind of funny because the amount of people who always just comment that I look like Billy Gibbons. Mm -hmm. I was like, it's like you don't you don't even most of them don't even know. Like, well, I actually do play guitar. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm actually a guitar player. And they're like, well, that's crazy. I'm like, I actually have the same birthday as Billy Gibbons. They're like, holy crap. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, I don't know. It's a thing. I didn't grow my beard because of Billy Gibbons. No, he started it because of Doug Dynasty. Well, you were really. I never. Mm. Yeah, but I never got. It was like, 
It never got like really long because of that. I know, but it you got, like, really started thinking. Ooh, I was I'm like, gonna really oh, keep they had this shaggy look instead of shaving like, off my sides. And yeah, I've always had a teeth. short beard, and or yeah, Duck Dynasty got real popular. I was like, maybe I could grow that out, and I, I grew it out a little bit, and I was like, ah, I don't know about that. Mm -hmm. And I kind of shaved it off. And but then of course, it turned into like a huge trend of everybody growing out yeah. their beards, and it became I, a thing. <laughs> Well, really, I'm seeing who had the longest, like, it was like this guy mentality of who it's a competition. had the longest beard. Right. It's a threat display. Right. But since right. you already had one, it yeah. was like, well, let me see how long I can grow Well, it. part of it was like when my friend Adam came into the shop, I was already thinking about it. I, I was telling Nicholas, our son, that it's like, it's really because of Skyrim. Because mm -hmm. on Skyrim, the video game, Elder Scrolls, or Elder Scrolls Five, Skyrim, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I always make my character with like the biggest beard because mm -hmm. it's just super... You know, Viking-ish to do. I was like, studly. Mm -hmm. I want my guy to have a giant beard while he's swinging this axe at somebody, right? Mm -hmm. So I was like, I always liked the video game beards. And I thought, I wonder if I could, I wonder if I could grow a Skyrim beard. Probably. And then my friend Adam Lamar, who if you've watched our channel, y'all know Adam, Warefoot, a couple of bands. He came in and he had like first time he came into the shop, he had a big old beard, and I was like, and I had like a short beard, and I was like. Bro, nice beard. How long did that take you to grow? I was like, oh, it's about two years. Mm -hmm. and I was like, huh, interesting. And so we kind of hit off, became accepted. friends. And I was like, Adam has a beard. I like how his beard looks. Mm -hmm. So then it was like, I took the the year challenge. Mm -hmm. The yeared. Yeah. Just don't shave for an entire year, see what happens. So I did that, and I was like, mm -hmm. huh. I wonder what would happen if I went two years. So. Mm -hmm. It really had nothing to do with ZZ Top at all. It was more, mm -mm. it was more video game based, mm -hmm. kind of in a way, technically. Why I actually like. It was went lot, for lots it. of influences. There, were, there was, yeah. And then there's Zach Wild. It's like, yeah, oh, Zach has a tons of influences that you actually look up to and appreciate. It was a culmination. Yeah. And of course, now it's freaking. I already have the beard. I mean, like seven years later. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot it's been that long. Yeah. Until like memories from Facebook pop up. And I was like, this is six years ago. I'm like, oh crap, I had a beard. Mm -hmm. Like I've always had a beard. Right. But a or big. Or just facial hair. Yeah. You had facial Goatees, hair. Goatees, something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised how popular mustaches are right now. Ew. No. The two young, young, two young dudes come in the shop a couple days ago. And I'm sitting there talking to them. They got just the stash. It's not. And they're, they they look like they're about 20 years old or something. I was like, oh, are you are you a fireman? He's like, no. I was like, because I understand why firemen do it. Because it's I like, guess. well, they can't have a beard because their mask doesn't. Right. They can't wear their safety gear. No, I mean, with a beard. Just shave it all off then. Right. I know. But they're like, if I can't have a beard, I'm going to have at least a mustache. No. A mustache. Henry Cavill. A mustache is nice on gentlemen older than 45. Ah. That's when it's actually like more distinguished and it fits their face. Or if you're a cowboy. Younger than that, it looks ridiculous. You just look like you're just pretending to be a man. It, it doesn't look right to me. It's because you have all this young face and this little mustache. It's just like all oh, pumpkin. I thought he was a fireman. I was like, you look like a fireman. But, uh, you know. It doesn't look right. I don't like it. I, I've never been a fan of just the mustache. Mm -mm. My entire life, my dad has always had just a mustache. That's what I'm saying. Like Tom Selleck, just a mustache. Right. Burt Reynolds. Looks just fine. Just a mustache. Older men though. Yes. Were they old when they started though? They looked older. Cause you could be like 30 they in 1980 old. and you look like you're 50. Yeah. No, they were in their like mid to late thirties. Yeah. When they were popular. <laughs> At our age, yeah, because they're like <laughs> Tom Selleck, Burt Reynolds. Tom Selleck might have been early thirties. Tom Selleck, the 80s, Tom Selleck looked pretty cool, but he was still, he was still. In his he 30s. was like Tom Selleck is like the only guy. But he looked like an older man. Yeah, even at his age, he looked like he was in his forties. Yes, at his age. But yeah. when you look During like you're Magnum 12 PI. with a mustache, you That's doesn't kind of... look good. <laughs> I think at maybe 35, depending on how rugged you are as a man. How sun bleached yes, you are I from think being a it cowboy. It does look good on a older gentleman, but younger guys need to stop. I agree. Shave I was, it off I never, I never did adjust the mustache. It was always a goatee with a little yeah. James Hetfield thing with a goatee. Goatees are fine too, but I think that that's not as popular anymore. That was the very 90s. Yeah, it was. 
Anyways. Anyways. Wow, we went. To we did. There's a whole beard segue yeah. there. Yeah. I think it's funny now that yeah. everybody's like Billy Gibbons, like it's not even. But it has kind of because of this. Mm -hmm. When somebody starts talking about. And it, because you've lost so much weight. I have lost a lot of weight. Actually. And so whenever you wear certain outfits and your beanie and you have your beard, it's hard to tell. <laughs> From a I, distance, from it's people like, who don't know you, right. when they just see this guy with a long beard, sunglasses, and a beanie, they're just like, "What the? Should I approach him? I don't know." It's he like when you see somebody he like at Walmart or at you know the restaurant. You're like, "Yeah, are you an Elvis impersonator? Is that right. your side job? Because I know mm -hmm. you're way too young to be Elvis, but you look like a young Elvis, mm -hmm. like the chops and the hair." Home dude who played Elvis in the movie Elvis. Mm -mm. Oh. Just FYI, that is just the worst. I can't stand him. And I liked him before as a little actor, like a teeny bopper actor. Right. But now that he thinks like he's the new Elvis, like he's changed his actual persona, like when he's out places and Does stuff. Does he think that? It's so obnoxious. <laughs> I haven't even seen I it. I can't stand it. Was it a good movie? I don't. It might have been a good movie, oh, but they were like, it? oh my gosh, he's like Elvis reincarnated. Like, no, no, he's not. There's not a single person. That could be Elvis. Elvis was Elvis. Yeah. No more. No. Stop it. Well, it's like it's Val Kilmer in the, the Doors thing. Yeah. No. Like, that he, was that was scary. pretty convincing. Like that was very scary. But Jim Morrison. Like they had the same bone structure yes. and hair, and it was very creepy. It was creepily yeah. doppelgangerish. Doppel yes. It was. He was born to play that role. Yeah. It was just like um, Robert Downey Jr. as Charlie Chaplin when he played Chaplin. Oh yeah. He was just like. Oh gosh. A brilliant casting. Crazy. Kind of scary. Anyways, All right. Final question. Final question. <laughs> Thank you, Gibson Mesa 00, for saying away again. All right. Final question. Let me move my glasses. Mm -hmm. Sheldon Corpit 1708. Hashtag Merry Christmas. A few videos ago, you mentioned big news from CMG Guitars. Big May news. we have a hint? Question mark. No. Well, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, this morning we got the, the newsletter. We did get a newsletter Chris, from Chris, the Mitchells. Chris and Ashley Mitchell mm -hmm. in the mail. And it was like their year end wrap up. It's talking about because mm -hmm. they own a store in Georgia, Plaid Dot Music. So Chris Mitchell, Chris Mitchell Guitars, owns a store. It's a pretty, pretty decent sized guitar store, music store. And they do music lessons, all that kind of stuff. And then. Mm -hmm. And, and of course he has, you know, CMG guitars, they have the Devil Cat amplifiers, they do a lot of things in their community with charity work and, and all kinds of stuff. And so they had a little thing. And I was like, oh look, it's the, let's open it. So you'll hear anything. And it talked about one of the things in that. I was like, I guess this is okay to talk about. Because you sent it out in a paper publication. You know to I mean? friends and family. And like client. But why okay. would you send that out though? I don't know. It's just talking about things we did this year. So I'm gonna talk about what I saw in the thing, mm -hmm. which is not the thing I'm thinking about. Mm -hmm. There's kind of two things. And the thing in the thing mm -hmm. today was talking about, uh, I wish I would have brought it with me. I would have just read it to you. But it's, they're just kind of expanding their custom shop options with CMG. Awesome. So you could already customize a guitar with CMG guitars. You can mm -hmm. go to their website and they have like a build a guitar and like have a little calculator and you can pick, I want inlays and I want, you know, Here's the five inlay choices you can choose from. Mm -hmm. It was sort of semi-custom. Right. You could like, I want this kind of wood for the fretboard. I want this kind of, you know, body shape. They wouldn't do any weird body shapes, but it was mm -hmm. like, here's a template. Kind of like a, a Kiesel Guitars has this. You go on a Kiesel Guitars website and you can sort of, I want this kind of wood on the fretboard. I want this many frets. And I want this and I want this and this. And then it was semi-custom. Mm -hmm. So they've always been able to do that. And you could send them a color like, hey, I want this color. And they go, okay, mm -hmm. we'll try to get close. Right. But now they're doing like, they're they're kind of getting even more options. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So it's they're getting even a little bit more custom than they were before. Right. Okay. So that's, that's the thing. That's not the thing I'm thinking about. The thing I'm thinking about actually has a little bit more to do with Devil Cat mm -hmm. than the expansion of the custom custom options okay. with CMG guitars. So, well, but that's what was in the little the awesome. flyer, the year-end mm -hmm. magazine thing they sent out. It's mm -hmm. kind of like, oh yeah, 2023, we kind of expanded our expanded our custom shop options. And I was like, that's one of the things. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Because it was in print. Yeah. That obviously, that was not a secret. Okay. Apparently. It's definitely not a secret now. Nope. So, 
Now, as far as what they can do, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you have to go specifically through Chris for that or if you can do that stuff through dealers yeah, or not. We don't know the details. I don't know the deets. But we on when it. we know, you'll know, yeah. or you know, we'll know. But it's essentially there there's a few more custom options nice. available. Mm-hmm. So yeah! there you go. Yeah! But the other thing is not, it's the thing. Right. The other thing. We'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, I have to wait and see. Mm-hmm. 2024. That's right. <laughs> and that was the final question. Hey, thank you guys for hanging out and listening to us talk about beards. Mm -hmm. On your New Year's Eve, this is actually... Way to ring it in. Yeah, this is actually New Year's Adam when we're filming this. This, yes. It's actually Saturday right now in Mm -hmm. Texas. But you're seeing this Christmas Eve, Mm -hmm. hopefully in a live premiere. So we should be in the chitty chat talking with you guys. Yes, or he will be in the chitty chat. I'll be in the chitty chat. What are you doing tomorrow? I'm going to see Les Mis with my cousin in Dallas. So... Where at? Uh, I don't know. Like, Somewhere. Like the Broadway musical. Mm-hmm. How excited are you? Really excited. Ooh. I have mixed emotions about it, so. Like, what if it's bad? Exactly. What if they suck? Because like, it's such an epic play. I just really hope that the performers are at Dude. their <laughs> top game, top of their game. Yeah. So, but you'll be back tomorrow mm-hmm. afternoon, right? Yes. I'll hopefully be home by six. That's my mm-hmm. plan. Okay, so this will probably be an afternoon or evening broadcast that you guys are seeing this. All right, so thank you all for being here. If you watch this entire video, mm-hmm. afterwards, it's time for secret comment of the day, a little game we like to play. Today's secret comment of the day is hashtag Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> Pretty obvious. 2024. Best day of the year. <laughs> hashtag treat yourself. Mm-hmm. Make it great. Hashtag Happy New Year. All right. Happy New Year. Thank you guys. We'll see y'all. Uh, in 2024, mm-hmm. again, another uh, Ask RNA First video. First week down. Episode 401 yeah. of Ask RNA. Oh, man. We'll see. We'll see how the year, the first week of 2024 proceeds. I Proceed it, with caution. I hope it's good. <laughs> it's been a hectic 23. It really is. I'm ready to leave it behind. Shut mm. that door and go Shut into a new the room. front door. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, keep the music alive. Don't forget it. Music needs you. And you need the music. And we need to keep it alive for the next generation. That's right. Born in 24. I mean. Hopefully the world's still here. All right. Yes. <laughs> Bye. In uh, 2048, hope the world is still here. Yes. I hope bones? it's here when I, in 2078, because I want to be 100. Ooh. I want to make it to 100. I want the world to make it to 100. See, I gotta get to 27. For my 100, anyways. I gotta be 2075. Ooh. I got like another a good 50 years, almost. I know. Maybe. 51 years. 52 years. Ooh. Mm-hmm. That's a long time. I wonder how many more guitars I can get in the next 50 years. I mean, one year. <laughs> one year. I'll have at least 50 guitars by the time I'm. 50 100. more guitars. 50 right? more guitars. <laughs> Yeah, probably more than 50 by that time of market. Probably so.